Shocking. What is so shocking, Doc? I scalped off my whole backyard at the farmhouse, took off that whole cool season lawn, and I had a whole nother lawn underneath it. I'm not kidding you. You gotta see this, this is pretty cool. Hold on, we're gonna talk about summer scalping. Hey guys, Doc. So what are we doing today? We are doing a summer scalp. And people, whenever they hear summer scalp, they kind of freak out. But if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that every year on our warm season Bermuda and even Zoysia, I like to do a summer scalp. And why do I do it? It's a reset button. And I'll explain it in a minute and I'll show you what's going on here. Hold hey on. guys, don't forget in the description below, I linked to if there's products that I'm using, I'm gonna link to it down below. And I got a lot of stuff that I'm doing, including a lawn sweeper to pick up core aeration plugs. I'm gonna break this into three sections. I'm gonna show you the lawn scalp today. The next video is gonna be us doing a core aeration and putting down the actual treatments. And then I'm gonna be putting down some more seed out here. So if you understand what we've got here, this is our back of our farm project house. And we started off with cool season and it when i went away on vacation we had a whole bunch of rain right before it came anyways it got up to like five inches cool season mix well i've been wanting to turn this into a warm season lawn but i'm concerned about the shade so i want to mix some seeds out here we have cut this grass i don't know how many times i want to say six or seven times in the past few days and we've taken it down from there to there to there to there to there i've got it anywhere from just over a quarter of an inch up to maybe half or three quarters. It's ugly. We also had the fungus issue. So there's a lot of brown spots out here. So the lawn looks quote unquote ugly, but I got a surprise for you and I had a surprise. So uh, what's interesting, maybe you guys can drop a comment down below, but did I ever put zoysia seed down here? I must have a while back, I must have put zoysia seed down here because now that we scalped off, all this super, super thick, cool season lawn, guess what I found? I found zoysia grass growing under here. Dude, it's crazy. I mean, like a lot of it. So I told Ryan, I said, look at this. I pull them over here and I'm like, there's just, I mean, there's areas that's thick zoysia right now, so it's great. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix this, we're gonna mix uh, Zenith zoysia. We're gonna mix it with a little bit of common Bermuda. I already put out a little bit of common, but then I got a hybrid Bermuda. So we're gonna mix all three those different grasses will find areas that they like. So maybe the Bermuda doesn't tolerate only six hours of sun, but the zoysia will. So we're gonna mix it all in here, it'll look good. Next, I have a real bump problem. This lawn, we, once we scraped it with the bulldozer, we kind of left it and threw the seed down, and we have got, I mean, huge ruts in this lawn, and it's a nightmare to get it down to scalp. So I've ordered some leveling mix. They're gonna ship in a few days some leveling mix. So I have a leveling video coming out for you. We're gonna level this back. I'm also gonna show you the front seating project, which is a huge 12,000 square foot area that we're turning into Bermuda. I'll give you an update on this. There's a ton of stuff. So here we go. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna show you my special surprise. We assume that this was just all a mix of fescue and blue because it was real thick. It was about two and a half, three inches. Guess what, when we cut it off, guess what we found underneath? So, look at this. This is almost all zoysia right here. That is almost 100% zoysia. Let me pull a piece so you can see. Look at that. I mean, I don't. that's not common Bermuda. That's friggin' zoysia, dude. And this whole lawn in here is just, I mean, the whole, this whole area has a ton of it everywhere we go. I mean, Ryan was out here sweeping up the clippings and I stopped him. I said, dude, you gotta come look at this. I mean, there is everywhere on this lawn, I've got a decent amount of zoysia. I am thrilled to death. But my problem is, is we never did a leveling out here. So we have to come out and do some leveling. If I wanna keep this short with a real mower, I gotta get, I mean, dude, I got six inch humps over here that are just insane I'm walking along and you, we just, when we got down to the lowest level, we were using the big uh, true cut out here and it, the bed knife was just digging into the ground. I am going to, like I said, I'm going to break this up. Today, I'll just show you us sort of scalping this down. I'll show you the finished project. And then I'm going to take you right now. I'm going to walk you out front and show you the, the progress on that seating project out front. So the question is, why do I always do a summer scalp? 
we all have this habit, unfortunately, it's human nature, that we kind of let our lawns get a little bit longer and a little bit longer. And I'm talking warm season, not cool season. Lay it up, oh, we missed a week, but it looks good higher. And you end up getting, you start off with really short Bermuda and then it gets long. So there comes a point in time where it's like, man, I just can't make, get this lawn to look nice. So what you have to do is just, if as long as you got irrigation or you got plenty of rain, just do a summer scalp. Just take it all off, reset, and it's warm season grass, so you can do it in the middle of summer, it doesn't matter. I do it every single year, guys, I do this. You don't want to do it in the fall because I won't have time to recover. If you're going to do it, you got to do it now. The other time that it's really good to do this, to do a scalp, is if you're going to do a core aeration or do leveling. Why leveling? You do not level grass. Get that through your head, please. Do not put leveling mix or have someone level when you have tall grass. It's gonna fall over, it's gonna clump, and it's a nightmare. You wanna take your grass as close to dirt as possible, and why is that? It's because you're leveling the ground. You're leveling dirt, you're not leveling grass. So it's very important, if you're gonna do leveling, you gotta get it super short. Here's the new project. All right, so this was a huge trash pile out here that we finally got under control, that we planted. I did three stages of planting out here. We got multiple seeds out here. This is the new railroad tie system. We're digging a trench in here. We had a big thunderstorm and this actually worked really well. All this water is funneling down and going down here versus coming down in a big sheet in this area. I do have a hole, as you can see. We patched that up today. But let me go down here and let me show you. I'm actually surprised. My Bermuda grass, my Bermuda grass is actually starting to germinate out here. Dude, this is like five or six days. And it's because it's so hot and humid. We've gotten so much rain. I'm using my big irrigation sprinkler. I'm keeping it wet and it's 90 degrees. Bermuda loves it. And it's actually starting to germinate. It's cool. So you can see, if I pull this straw away a little bit, look at that, look at all that. Now that's that quick growing rye. Look how long it is, it's almost two, two and a half inches long. But mixed in here, okay, now do you see those little green things? See those little green pieces right there? Right there. Those little green things there that grow kind of sideways. When Bermuda comes up, it usually grows sideways or it comes up in a little fork like that. And that's how you can tell the difference. Rye grass comes straight up, single blade. Bermuda comes up and it sort of turns sideways. So that's how I know that that's actually Bermuda germinating. So there's gonna come a point where what we need to do is come through here. I'm gonna give it a couple more days. And once that I see that I have real good germination, I don't see any severe weather coming in, We'll just lightly rake some of this hay off. Um, we may, we'll rake some up and put a little bit back, but I don't want clumps. So this is actually looking good. If you look down here, there's a green haze down there. And that's because that's been in the shade and probably stayed a little bit cooler and damper. So I got all kinds of ryegrass down there. Dude, look at this green. Dude, this is just crazy. This is what we're into. Temperatures in the 90s, humidity 80 to 90% humidity, and every day, here comes a rain cloud. It's just like fungus city. Up in the gardens we're battling fungus and the lawns we're battling fungus. But I wanna just stress one thing to you guys. Cool season guys, you would not do this in the summertime, obviously, you would do this in the fall. Warm season guys, you're gonna do this during late spring all the way through the summertime, active growing season. You want to do this, if you're gonna do this during an active growing season. Warm season, guys, you do not wanna do this in the fall because your lawn starts to shut down and won't have time to recover. I also want you to think about if you're gonna do a scalp. Now, I do this a lot of times just because I'm like, dude, this lawn, Ryan and I look at the lawn, we're just like, it's way too thick. Let's go ahead and let's just start over. It's a reset button. But also along with that reset button, I also want you to think about what other purpose can I do? Do a core aeration. Summertime is a great time to do a core aeration. I pick up all my plugs. I'll talk about that in the next video, why I pick up my plugs. It's important. The other thing is, is leveling. Again, if you're going to level, I'm, I get frustrated with leveling companies that schedule a lawn leveling, but then don't tell the homeowner that their lawn needs to be short. I'm like, dude, why would you not tell someone that? That happened to me one time. Um, a, a neighbor of mine was getting their lawn level and their lawn, I'm like, dude, aren't you getting your lawn level? He said, yeah. I said, dude, you need to cut that down. I said, 
you're going to have real big issues. And he didn't cut it down, and it was horrible. So uh, I'm just going to throw up some. I'm going to show you the challenge that we had out here. Man, this you can watch this true cut out here. I use the true cut to do scalping because I don't want to put that pressure on the McLeans. And the true cut's just a big old gnarly beast, and it's big. 27-inch true cut. Um, I saved my McLeans for the more fine cutting. And uh, but you can just see that machine. You can see my face. I'm battling out here. That bed knife is digging in, hitting ruts. It's just horrible. And then Ryan comes behind me, scoops everything up with the vacuum, and then, like I said, tomorrow is another video. So one of the issues with the true cut um, we've found over the years is that when we go really low and if you have any kind of bumpy terrain it does this dig thing. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah, it gives a big, the, the bed knife comes in and you can see this right here. So that's what it's doing. It's actually, you can feel it and I'm having to, and I'm kind of having to put pressure on the handle and sort of feather this thing. It's a pain in the ass, but we don't want to run the McLean but we're taking this down. Some areas are a quarter of an inch, some areas are half an inch, but this is this is low. But this is what I need, because you've seen the Bermuda seed out there. So the Bermuda seed, when it comes up and it germinates, I mean, it's like this tall, it's tiny. So I need this open area, I need this opened up. Plus we're gonna do a core aeration, and uh, we're gonna open this up and we're gonna plant it and just let that warm season come up. It should look beautiful in about two or three weeks. John and Jeff, they take care of this area. All the way up to the barn. This area is really not looking that bad. I'm telling you, dude, it's crazy. There's something. I guess it's Georgia. Sure, Zoysia. This isn't like I planted it three or four weeks ago, Zoysia. 
I can't remember. I must have put some down. I must have had some beer. I think I did too. <laughs> I'm telling you, I can't get over this weather. It just smells like wet moisture. Uh, I want you guys to do me a favor. If you guys haven't seen the video that says a thousand pounds on it, which shows us out here in the vegetable garden using Dirt Booster, uh, it's actually a pretty cool video. The Good Witch is in it, and I basically just sort of run the camera while I'm out here all day and don't do a whole lot of talking, which is unusual for me. Go watch that video. It's on my channel. Uh, go over there and make a comment, say, good job, good witch, or something. I don't know. Just go over there and watch it. It's a cool video. You really need to see it. It was a different way to shoot for me, just sort of set up a camera and let the camera roll and just shut my mouth, but go look at it. Anyways, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be a long process between everything we got going out here with all these lawns. I'm also going to take you out and show you the quarter mile road frontage in Bermuda I got. I got this back area. I got this back lawn. I got the front. A bunch of stuff going on. Hit subscribe. I'll talk to you later. Duck. Mm -hmm.